growing up in a very small country town in the middle of nowhere, you can't imagine the power of the Oscars coming through our television set. Many years go by and eventually I, Oscars are on and say, I can't do all of it, but maybe I can do a number. So the uh, idea was launched to do a number, and in particular to celebrate the fact that the musical was now a viable proposition. You know, things like Mamma Mia that year, maybe High School Musical, sort of 10 years early there'd been Moulin Rouge, Chicago had won the Oscar. So it was time to say, hey, the musical is back. And that was the idea of the number. I'm stepping out my dear to breathe an atmosphere that simply reeks of collapse. So the trick was, Hugh as a song and dance man is pretty unmatchable. I mean, in terms of his capabilities on the planet today, he's an actor, he can sing, he can dance, he's funny, he can... I've seen him hold a stadium doing a musical. He used to go around Australia doing uh, Boy From Mars. How do you match that? So you really need his partner to be the great female song and dance superstar, and that had to be Beyonce. I'm putting on my top hat. I really distinctly remember we're in rehearsals with Hugh, with Beyonce, we have Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, uh, Amanda Siegfried, Dominic Cooper. But what was really fantastic and what was so buoyant was that what we're asking Hugh and Beyonce to do is near on technically impossible because not only have they got to sing at high octane, but they've got to go up and down staircases and, and it's high in choreography as well. So very, very, very challenging. I particularly remember just working with, I mean, Hugh, I, I've worked with before. You know, I've asked Hugh, hey, would you get on a horse and gallop with a hundred horses in a stampede and he'd go, great, but I haven't learned to ride a horse yet. You know, a week later, he'd be on the horse. Like, he can do anything, really. But having not actually worked with Beyonce before, I was just so struck by her relentless professionalism. Like, just at it and at it over and over again, whatever it took to get it totally right. And so there's tremendous confidence about the both of them as starring at the centre of this really complicated thing to pull off. Somehow, somewhere, somewhere. I remember at one stage we were thinking of maybe finishing it with Barbara Streisand appearing and doing the kind of finale of it. Somewhere, somehow, Barbara comes up, la, da, 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 moment. And uh, I really spoke to her about that, and it looked like it might be able to happen, but it just became a point where we could not get that together. I mean, only because I think you wanted to sort of, in the last era, make a point about who really reigned when musicals were king in the last era. Of course, she was, you can't get higher than Barbara. 